Legend of Total War here with part 49 of my This is Total War Attila Western Roman Empire Let's Play campaign. Uh, previously, Hedramentum was sacked. They used a bit of a sneaky tactic. One faction sent an army out here to... They were nearly at Constantina. I came over here and destroyed it. Whilst I was over here fighting, another army came over here and sacked Hedramentum. But um, at least they sacked it and not raised it. So we're going to send him back here. We've got some public order issues. Because when they sack a settlement, it creates many, many turns of instability. Unless a, um, unless a rebellion can fix it. Because uh, if a rebellion happens, instability, I think, goes away. Now, we could repair these things, but that's going to cost us a significant amount of money. And they will repair by itself over time. We've also got this going on. Promising young gladiator. Okay, bet on the gladiator. Bet ag I'll bet against the gladiator. Because I was speaking to Simpson and he said the young gladiator always loses. Yes. Uh, over here you've got to level up. Okay. So yeah, we've seen the Byzantine Empire or the Eastern Roman Empire fall apart now. They've uh, they just got absolutely hammered by this all these fucking stacks. That's way too much. If they sent that much against me, I'd be fucked. Hopefully these guys can't get their shit together and send it out this way because that would be very difficult to handle they'll probably they probably will send these guys but not in a cohesive force I feel like we just need to keep recruiting it's gonna cost us a lot of money that's why we need to really keep investing okay we've also finished this tech here I'm gonna research that one there Never research that. Not until everything else is done. So you just go tick, 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 tick and go straight to that. Because those those are actually bad techs. Very bad. Doesn't let me build, build these up. Okay. So what I want to do is upgrade certain settlements like this. Um, providing more garrison. A little bit more money. Also more growth. But uh, it's cheaper to build now. Um, I'll also do Rotomagus, that's a frontier settlement. It'll take five turns, so we're going to protect it for that amount of time. I'll, prob I'll probably be able to build one or two of these a turn. Uh, Malika, I was having a look at. I was thinking about destroying this, because I haven't looked at the public order in the area. It's, it's, it's getting better, but we're not quite there yet. Still a number of regions that need assistance. Because the way my settlement plans are going, I either need to build one, oh, sorry, two fountains, so one in each small city, or one waterworks in the major city. So, let's see. Should I expand that there and build it, or should I build something else going on over here? Because I've only got enough money for one more building. I could save it until next turn. But then again, we want to try and increase... Does that increase, increase growth? No. Um, how are we going to go about this? It doesn't... Uh, I'll, we'll save it. We need to save the money because we really need to start building up our garrisons. Um, prepare for the storm. There's absolutely no point in expanding at this stage. Uh, also, there was this guy here. We want to try and get him um, into Africa. He can't quite make it to Carthage. He can't quite make it there. We know there's an army because they just recently sacked Hadramentum, so i got to be careful in what I do. I'm pretty sure if I come out here, he'll be safe. There's no way they're going to reach that, and if they do reach it, I'll be able to withdraw. We should be able to reach him next turn. Bringing them over to uh, primarily to so we can go and destroy Garima. Oh, that city's been destroyed. And Ptolemy. Basically just raise these areas. If they decide to start coming at me again. The thing is though, they are far away. They're not like what it was with Illyria, where every few turns they kept sending more stacks. Because now the thing is, they've got to come all this way. Because they can only get so many stacks. And then when they get killed, they have to start again from the scratch. So you've got to take into account uh, distance to travel, like those, um, what are they called, the Burgundians. It must have taken them years to get down here. But the sheer quantity of enemies out here is a bit of a concern. It is an honor 
to serve Rome. Also, we're going to need we hunger for battle. to dis I'll probably disband these Levis Amatore right? because I, I really don't like them that much. Mercenary Desert Bowman. I prefer Hurlers. I'd actually prefer them. No, these I mean. I'm quite happy with the Desert Raiders. Um, but we'll leave that for now. Let's see, just in case the enemy attack. Again. Which I don't see why they would. Okay, everything seems under control. Are we war with everyone? Yep. Okay, we need another Master of Soldiers. Okay, you can hit there. Yeah, because they're primarily because it reduces upkeep uh, upkeep costs for all units. The other ones really don't do anything like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, what else do we have to do? So we've got a thousand talents. All right, just save it up for next turn, I guess. Now, what's this? I am your this spy. Man. You go have some abilities. I got he could have gotten something here. What's this? Three percent for civil developments. That's not much, but all adds up, I guess. Especially later in the campaign. Okay, they want a peace treaty. No. My empire, the way it is right now, it's exactly the size that I want to keep it. At least until all of these settlements are all developed. There's no point in me conquering new settlements, it'll just make me poorer. But now that we've actually developed the overall wealth, we're still gonna be better off than when we started off. The Huns haven't done anything to me for a very long time. Ever since we got rid of their their two stacks, they haven't done a sh they haven't done shit. Fairly soon, though, Attila will come. Okay, so we've got an army there. We should go out there and fight them out in the field, which is also a bit of a concern. We shouldn't wait for them to come inside the city because the city's da too badly damaged. Kind of wish I had actually, whilst during this time Much of peace, sort spilled. of, gone out there and destroyed Garamantia. But I kind of didn't want to. Okay, time of office. What's this? Resolution. Okay, so he lost. So if Simpsy was right, because I bet against him, right? Office secured. What we're waiting? What one turn for the? Whatever. Carrier pigeons for this guy. What does that do? Yeah, whatever. Who is this? Yeah, whatever. Um, when do we get this? It causes public order problems, but yeah, alright. Provincial authority, where... Hmm. We should probably research that soon. Okay, so... Looks like it's a pretty good army here. I don't want to put artillery in this just yet. <coughs> Excuse me. We're at full strength now, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do... That's still available. Good. I'm going to get rid of one of these Levis Armatore. For Desert Raiders. Commander. God, fucking Garamantians. Their army out there is still probably out there as well. We can't let them come here. These settlements will repair on its own over time. I got 10 grand. My income actually increased. If I can get this guy to him, we can disband him. That'll save us a little bit of cash. Come over here. Public order's improving. Well, with him there, that is. Um, also, provincial instability should be going down. Banditry. I don't know what causes banditry. I guess sacking and raising settlements causes more banditry. Um, I'd only just started getting this, this settlement into the green, and now they're sending it back. Back down into the red again. Fucking Garamantians. I hate them so much. I'm going here. Why is this... How's the public order here going down? Now oh, we got a bad autumn. Oh, that's great. Oh well, it'll only last one turn, I guess. Um, what's your level up? 
and Asia. None of this stuff at all matter, really. Nothing's going to help give him additional public order. Um, he doesn't look very pagan. Looks like a Christian monk. Doesn't matter. Um, let's see here. We could develop these territories up more, but there's no need to... Well, with these smaller well, non-frontier regions, it's okay to build that up because you kind of do get a bit of money out of it and growth and public order for an additional 10 food. It's not that bad. But I don't know. Yeah, helping it grow a bit faster, that'd be useful. That is... I don't think that's particularly ideal just yet. I mean, I do kind of want that. We'll increase the maximum amount of priests we can have. They could be quite useful. A lot of food consumed, though. Big time a lot. Um, what public order there is all improving. That's great. How are we going over here? Public order is improving. At your command. The Saxons nor them can attack this turn, nor can we attack them. Orders. Just out of range. We cannot do that. Probably Keep a few mercenaries in the area. If they came to Turonum, how's the garrison there? Garrison's at full strength. We really need to upgrade that. We'll do that this turn. So that additional 10% um, savings, that's really coming in handy now. Basically for every 10 that we purchase, we get one for free. Alright then. I find catapults to be not that effective in these kind of battles. Well, it depends, really. It forces them to come to you. The thing is, I don't know what they've got. We could attach him to them. We could fight them still. I don't want to send him in. We hunger for battle. We're going to have a lot of skirmishes, which are not really ideal for field battles. What else is available? We've got legionary defectors that are available. 197 cost. They're actually better than the... Oh, hang on, no, they're not. Oh, I don't know. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do? I'm just worried that I might lose this battle. No, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just get in there. Me lose battles. Ah, oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. So the odds are against us on this one. Okay, somehow that increases the odds against me, but I just don't like fighting at night. You're best fighting when you're comfortable. They've only got two lots of cavalry. So they have a big disadvantage in that regard. Okay, so it, it says this, but I don't feel that. As long as I've got cavalry superiority, I think we'll be okay. And we've also got missile superiority as well. We kill their general, these guys here won't matter. Yeah, I know some people will be like, why don't you use night attack? You should always fight where you feel comfortable, even if the stats don't aren't quite there. I, I don't feel comfortable fighting at night. I like to fight when it's nice and bright so I can see. Visibility for me is very important. I know night attacks aren't usually that bad with, with the visibilities, but I don't want to take any risks for, what, a minus one morale bonus for that penalty for them. Um, okay, so we can start off with the high ground, so that's good. Usually it's the enemy that starts off with it. Okay, you guys have raided um, ample strips you can hang out there. I really don't need them anymore. I'll we'll disband it after this battle for the artillery. We also need to make sure that we uh, not only destroy them, but we don't take too many casualties. Okay, need to hurry. Get over here before they take some high ground. They'll probably be a bit defensive because we've got no artillery. But then again, we do have missile superiority, so we'll just need to get over here and have a look. Come on, you short-sighted fucks. I want to see what they're doing. I love these cavalry. They're great. Alright, they're taking a, a, a different kind of high ground over here. So they're going to be defensive. Okay, all of their melee units there. That won't mean shit once their general's dead. 
Okay, we can't take a defensive position on this one, obviously, because we're the attackers. But we can, of course, have a little bit of a look. I don't want to send these guys down there to kill their skirmishers, because if we kill their skirmishers, well, they'll come at us. And don't forget, those camels, we're better off shooting them than anything else. It's okay if they have a charge into our, into our guys. From experience, one lot of cavalry cannot take on, or even two lots of cavalry cannot take on this many skirmishers if you keep your head straight. Okay. So you send one to run around and the others to shoot them. They're leaving their general very poorly defended. We should take advantage of this because if we kill him, the whole army is fucked. Keep our cavalry together, because they're, you know, they, they're okay, but they don't have much armor, so we don't want to send them anywhere near the, uh, the missile units just yet. Okay, we'll start coming down the hill. Once the general's dead, none of these guys will stand up to us. Keep repositioning. I'd love to just like get in there, just do a bit of a shot, just, uh, just charge into them and then pull back. But it wouldn't be worth it. They'd shoot us to death before we got away. I don't think this is the kind of uh, battle that we should be using these guys in Testudo either. Because once they've run out of our mission, they'll just charge at us. So we might as well, since we've got skirmisher superiority, utilize that. I mean, I'd like to have my cavalry actually take them down, but there's too many spears in there. Not even cataphracts would get in there. Okay, we've still got the high ground here, or the higher ground. Camels are right there. There's their general. They moved around and then got into, into the exact same position. Now when they charge at us, we need to be basically running back up the hill. Luckily my general is very experienced. Okay, they're coming at us now. Okay, everyone just use standard shot. Okay, they're getting into loose formation and their units charging like this is detrimental to them. Okay, everything's going to rely very heavily on, on our cavalry killing their general. Stay out of range for now. We've got the high ground here, so let's utilize that. We're getting a few kills. Their camels should be made a priority. Yeah, their gen uh, our general's not protected here against them. Okay, start pulling back. Good, we kick their ass. We need two of these guys and the pikemen over here. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Okay, come over here, and charge into them. Oh crap, get out of there. Okay, pull them back, good. Sort of. No, 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 no. Okay, that's it, you charge into them. The camels can't seem to catch up to us. Okay, and then you guys need to take out the general. You. There you go. You guys come in over here. Okay, you need to kill him very quickly. And then actually pull back. We don't want to be fighting these guys. Although, since you are all expendable, it's okay. No, 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 You guys stop shooting. You're just going to get friendly fire now. Keep pulling back, if nothing else. These guys are here all expendable. Don't worry about them. Okay, let's scare this guy. Okay, good. We've won the battle. We've won. Let's just get our guys over here, charge to the back of them. We'll get a mass route. Oh, 
more this way, then fire at will, because they're closer to them now. You start running them down. Our general is being attacked. Keep him alive. They're actually fighting really quite well. As in uh, these guys, I guess it's because they've got the high ground. How's he doing? Fucking always in the rear. Doesn't matter though. We we rammed right into them. That worked out quite well. Let me go shoot the shit out of them. Hang on, where's scare? Use it. Get him. Use us. You guys go fight them. We barely lost anything. This is going to be a heroic victory. They're not going to get anywhere. Don't worry about them. Come on, over here. Anyone that got scared left? Should be one. Yep. You take it down. They didn't use them. Didn't need them. And there we go. Can you guys stop firing? Can you take them down? If you can, try and get to these desert bowmen. That went... Perfectly. I mean, I, none, none of them are even in the orange. The cavalry's still in good shape. They've killed so many. They killed their general. I guess having a, a really good general makes a huge difference. This went a lot better than expected. I did kind of think I'd win. I just thought I'd take a lot of losses. But I didn't. I barely took anything. In fact, once I take on prisoners, I don't even know if I need to. Um, I'll be at full strength. My other cab, so we got. Don't let these guys get away. We're not going to be able to kill them all, but that's okay. We could probably run them down afterwards. Get over there. How many's left here? 29. Yeah, you got to finish that off. You. Uh, you can maybe get here. Okay, take that down, then you've got to charge after these guys. Luckily, they've got a long way to run, and they're probably quite tired. Just goes to show you why cavalry superiority is just absolutely vital. And I reckon missile units are better fighters than bloody melee units in this. you got to have somewhat of a balance, though. these guys just ripped into them as they were charging up here. There we go. Yeah, it's getting done. There's no need for you guys to keep running. You're not going to catch up to them. Maybe I'll send you to go do it. Run after them. Because they'll be tired. Help save this guy a bit of time. That's finished. So don't let these fuckers get away. Okay, that's done. Try and stop them from running away. Actually, why don't you go over here? Be fresh. Try and stop them. Shit, these guys are getting away. Go kill them. Desert spears. Not a big deal, but kill everyone that we can. Or else it's just more effort later. What are you doing? There's only a few of them left. Forget that now. Yeah, come over here. Come stop them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a whole load of guys up this way. How are they going? Wait, you're not finished with that. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, good enough. Come on, take these desert spears down and those. Yeah, more desert spears. They killed every last one of them, or they got away. Oh, you gotta, I don't think you'll catch this one. Oh, they're too far away. They're exhausted as well. Running up a hill. Oh, hang on, we might just get a, a small charge on them. Hang on, no, we got them. Usually scout equities completely fail me, but these desert guys, they succeeded in wiping them out. Okay, that's gone. Good. Come over here. We're going out this way. Go 
good for the most part we've got them. And all of these guys got lots of extra experience, so they'll be even better in a fight next time. It's good, it always helps if they've got a nice high attack. I guess that's how they managed to kill their general quite easily. Okay, we're done here. I don't think we killed every last one of them, because you can see that some of the camels got away, and some of their slingers. But, that's a great kill ratio. It's like 15 to 1. They hardly did, any, did anything. They didn't fight very well, though. I mean, when they got into position to start shooting, their infantry got in their way. Their melee infantry. So just that one survives. Okay, so we, do we want a ransom, or do we want to replenish by 5%? I probably want the ransom. Don't worry about integrity. This guy's a good general. He'll be able to sort them out. I kind of expected to get more money out of that, to be honest. Like, that's not much. Oh! Units replenished by 5%. I still think if anyone, any one of these guys yeah! comes out here to fight us, we'll be okay for the next turn. Make haste, men. Okay, now the question remains, should we go finish that off or not? We hunger for battle. Certainly could. If we go finish it off, then we could recover our, our numbers, because we'll likely lose nothing. Yeah, let's do it. Leave none alive. Oh, hang on, hang on. Just to make everyone happy. Make sure it's a night attack. You know, because other people will go like, Oh, why don't you use night attack? and give you like a 0% bonus. <gasps> people do fixate it on stats and not tactics. It's kind of silly. Okay, 1%. On the move. We'll recover a lot more than we lost on that one. And there was, wasn't going to be any much point to a ransom. Commander. So there we go, we're in a stronger position. Back to Hadramentum. Spend this unit. Actual you come down. Hand this over. Now the question remains, do we keep him in here for extra public order? No, it's not worth it. If a rebellion happens, we can we handle it. So you can battle. leave. That'll save us some cash. Good. Ready for orders. Now I've got the artillery that we need to go and destroy Garima. But I uh, I think I should wait until at least Hadramentum is a bit repaired. And I want to build that up. I mean, I could fast track it so we can build it right now, but I'm not sure. Could also build up Constantina. I'm not too sure, because the thing is, if we come down here, it's all that desert shit as well. It will likely be undefended at the moment. I could send these guys down here to defend it. Maybe next turn. Maybe even raise a new navy, because these guys seem to be coming in. Enemy transports. I think if uh, a few Your more orders. navies could be quite useful, but... I guess that's not costing me too much. 1,000 for a navy, that's 8 strong. I might actually do that here. Not this turn, next turn. I want. I still want to invest more money. I've got to try and get my income up as high as possible before the shit hits the fan. Every turn I don't hire these these troops, so I'm taking a risk. But hopefully, if I can, if I can get myself organised, it'll be worth it. Okay, so we're, we're, we were going to build that, but I'm not sure if that's a good use of my money. Let's first start building up these things. So Verona and... Okay, hang on. If we build up these to level 3, what do we get out of that? Okay, these are much more developed areas, so the city should actually be a lot harder to take. You can see more walls around the city. It should be a bigger city, more towers, perhaps. Which the AI doesn't take into account when auto-resolve. So, but it only provides one extra unit of Sagittarii. A little bit of extra money, public order, a bit of growth. A bit of squalor comes out of it. How are we going for squalor? Squalor's no issue at all, because we've got... Reservoir here, that's all good. 
Um, wasn't that building something right here? Yeah, that's right. So that's growing quite quickly. So we can take it to level 3, because this is a region that... Actually, it's probably not going to be that heavily attacked, because most of the enemies that are coming now will be coming this way. We do have Macedon coming up here, though. Macedonia, sorry. Um, but they're not a huge threat. God, that's expensive. What does that provide? It has high walls. I'm not actually used to defending uh, high walls in this game. Or even attacking high walls. I'm used to these shitty towns. Uh, let's see. That'll increase money. And public order. Public order here is definitely not an issue. God, this is upgrading. It shouldn't need too much of a, a navy here now. Plenty of food as well. That's great. And it's going to be even more food soon. So we can definitely justify in building that. That'll be worth a lot of money. So that's a good investment. Even if it's not, you know... We've got to think about money as well as defences. Ah, uh, right. I was going to build these ones up. Uh, now I don't have enough money. That's alright. Okay, so... With a little money left, let's invest where we can. Let's see where the where are the settlements that have issues. Okay, Africa is consuming food. Right, so we should probably repair that. It'll actually... Hang on. If we repair it, it still costs 765, but... It'll give us 25% uh, bonus to wealth here. Shit, I don't know. I kind of just want to let it repair on its own. If anything, we should be repairing that. Getting that to level 2 will really help. I'm just not confident. I still think we can just sit there and wait. Ah, bloody hell, it's noisy. Alright, Palma. That's another region where this would be another another bathhouse. So that way we, we can use the main chain here to build up our economy further. Because these buildings here aren't that useful as these ones here. That, this is where you get all the real money, I think. At least for public order and food, to basically sustain the big city. But it, it's not required right now, that's the thing. Um, let's see. This region here should never really be having any food problems. So building cattle herd should be fine. Because that's where there's a significant increase in wealth. So if you look at how much wealth that is, that's 150. And that's 400. Plus it's a fairly big increase in food actually. It's only... Looks like 38 increase. How are we going here for food anyway? We've got plenty. Could always just save it up for the next turn. Got plenty of food coming in here. Okay, so... We've already built... Decided to dedicate the buildings to there. I mean, this has got no port anyway, so it's okay. It's got... It'll have five construction buildings in total. We can... We can grow this up now. What will, will we build here? Or here? So it's Segusio. That requires seven. What should we build there? What could we build? I think it's important to invest into Liguria because we've, it's reduced corruption. It's one of the lowest corrupt, corruption cities, so we'll get the most out of the, the things there. Maybe town industry. I usually don't like it, but this city and everything looks good. I mean, we've got plenty of food. Squalor should be well under control. So if we have a look, let's see here. That requires wood, timber. Excuse me. I'd probably prefer, prefer wealth from animal husbandry buildings anyway. So if we go about the leather make, uh, leather manufacturer, that provides 1650. That's the same as that. What does this provide? 825. A lot more public order, but also more squalor. What else could we build here? There could be a better choice. Let's have a look. So we go to city center administration. We've already done that. We could start building military. This is a, oh, this is military upgrades, right? Um... Provides siege defenses, um, Bastion Onager, then there's also unlocks a recruitment of Onagers. But I'd prefer just to get the mercenaries or hire them from, from other regions. Like, I could import them from Britannia. 
Health strength, no, I don't need that. Ammunition for missile units, nah. I mean, I know large onages are, are good. Well, we're not at a we're not in the stage where we need to start assaulting cities anyway, so that's not really a priority. Let's think about money. So, city industry here. City industry is better than than town industry. Because if you look at that, it's yeah, it's two thousand five hundred as opposed to one thousand six hundred fifty. But there's no percentage bonuses towards anything else. Requires lead. That requires dyes. Recruitment, what can we get out of this? So, Ballastari, that's from the Skirmisher bar Barracks. You can get Exploratories. Whatever. Fodorati Spears, I hate those. I'm quite happy, like, just getting a cavalry stable and just getting the base infantry. That being the, um... I suppose you still get those guys from it as well. The, um, what's it called? The Auxilia. Western Auxilia Palantina. Also, these do pr help provide more garrison. Right, only at that level there. Maintenance cost is huge. City religion, we don't need that here. City center, because we've got two available spots here. I really got to decide what's going to be the best choice. So there's this. I'm not going to be able to afford one of those this turn. Do we want a food emporium here? I don't think food's going to be a big issue. But what's going to provide us the most amount of money? So we've got that as well. That's 2,000. That's from a wine emporium. It provides less public order penalties, much less, and much less squalor than the other thing. Um, there's also that. So from a tabernet. But you get the most amount of... Oh God, I can't make up my fucking mind. It's racking my brain. You know what? One thing we're definitely going to need there is a cattle herd. Okay, I'll think about that stuff for later. Because I've really got to be wise with what I choose there. Alright, any new enemies? No, nope, all looks good. Okay, and faction. Okay, we need another military. We don't need a military count, but we could have it. They're a good stepping stone for Master of Soldiers. There you go. Reduce the recruitment cost, which is not really ever a big issue. It's upkeep cost of the big concern. Alright, I don't see any immediate threats here. Part of me does want to hire a navy. If they come back here. How's how's the navy here going? They're re they're replenishing quite quickly. It'll be a few more turns and then they'll be fixed. Okay, uh, I think I've done everything that I can. Let's just check this. No, this guy needs something done. Alright, let's move on. Oh, hang on, we've got governors wanting upgrades. Good. Alright, is there anything new here? See, that's alright. Upkeep cost minus 10% for mercenary units. Nothing here that's good for him, though. For ranged infantry? Nah, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. What should he have? Reduced construction costs? Yeah, I think so. Try and get him to there as, as fast as we can, I guess. Alright, over here, this guy. He's already got that. Reduced construction costs even further. Hang on a second. This is really silly, but that costs 1,410. What's that? Yep, that's fine. And now it's only 1,320, so I saved myself a little bit under 100 talents. So, a bit silly, but better than nothing. Okay, moving on. Okay, it looks like they're going to get their ass out of Crete and they'll either go home or make their way over to me, the next big enemy. If they attack, they're screwed. They'll never win. Two stacks is not a big concern for me. They're probably... 
both transport ships. Actually, I'm not too sure about that. I'll have to check. They, the Macedonians didn't leave much in um, My people with Corinth. They left hardly anything there. I could send a navy to go finish them off. What are they doing? That's it. Go home. That's perfect. You know what? I'd like a peace treaty with you guys, but fuck you. They want to continue on, but they don't have a full stack. Parthia wants to try his luck. Okay, Eazogies are coming over by the looks of it. So is Macedon. Alright, so what's going on? We've got population surplus in Carthaginesis. So good, my income's rocketing up. That's what we want to see. Okay, we've got raiding in Gala. It's not a big deal, though. Ready for duty. Yeah, good for you. How are the Byzantine... Uh, Byzantines going? Are they still alive? Yeah, they're still out there. Can't see them, but they're out there. Any new enemies? No. Good. These guys are still here. What is, it's been saying it's going to mutiny for the, in the next five turns for the last fucking ever. They must be keep. They may, he must keep on decimating his own units. It's annoying that these guys can't starve. It's fucking annoying. They'll just sit there forever. I'll never be able to. I'll have to send a navy to go hunt him down, but it's a waste of resources. Oh well, there's no threat, I suppose, at the moment. Okay, public order here is still going down, but it's gradually getting better. Okay, if we look at this, the, the repair costs are still the same. When is this going to start repairing? Or well, maybe it only repairs once a year. In spring or something. I don't know. I need to hurry up. Okay, so with an income of 10,000. Um, okay, so we're going to check this. So this is a transports and transports. So yeah. I mean, we could send these guys in to go fight them now, but if they're not going to attack us, they could be coming over to Rodomagus, though. Ready for orders. The problem is, if we come in over here and fight them, Commander. there's just going to be a lot of... a lot of them, and not much space to maneuver around, and that's what we really need if we're going to fight them. Ready for uh, can you use Knight's Attack by any chance? No, not yet. Not until you get to there, actually. So, good luck with that. Uh, let's see. Whether or not we should attack or not. Because we can't see what they've got. Uh, I can't be stuffed having a pointless battle like that if they're just going to replenish their forces. They might just piss off. That's what they've done every other time. But if they, if they make their way towards Rotomagus, these guys pounce on them. That's what has to happen. And then these guys have to go back to, to there. Like if they're just going to stand there forever, then it's no threat to me at all. So, whatever. Now, army of crossbows would be able to smash them quite easily. Are we researching? Yeah. Could use stuff like reduced upkeep costs as well, but we'll, we'll worry about that eventually. Okay, so we've got plenty of food, plenty of money coming in. Let's keep investing. I feel... I really, hang on, that's repairing. Maybe it's only one building that gets repaired. Or maybe it's... I don't know how it works, to be honest. Looks like it's getting fixed. Just leave it be. Um, if a rebellion happens there, it should be okay. I'm not sure if I should, but I really do want to get to Garama. To destroy it. I just don't know. Otherwise we're going to be dealing with constant... Well then again, if they send another stack like that and we fight it and keep defeating it... Uh, I don't know. Problem is this guy's going to die soon. He's getting pretty old. He's my best general. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Okay, let's, let's think about uh, money. So over here we could upgrade these. 
But I don't think we need to, because that's not really much of a threat. That's taking attrition, somehow. They're standing in a swamp or something. I reckon they have been losing a few units every year because of winter. Isn't I going to do something over here as well? So what are we going to do? We don't need we don't need that building. In fact, we could probably destroy that one there. I reckon we could actually get away with the town industry manufacturer thing there. I wouldn't worry about the uh, builder's workshop. The leather manufacturer. So that'd be minus 10 public order and lots of squalor. So but let's just see. Let's count up all the squalor problems that are possible. So if we get that, that's 5. So that'd be 20 with you include all of those. If we go latrines all the way down that way, it's 6 to all regions. That's 16 to all regions. So it'll be plus 18. I don't know. We can probably destroy that and build a fountain there, I guess. And that'll... That'll... Okay, let's do it. Let's quit dicking around. Let's build a local industry. Let's make more money. Speaking of money, we need to build up that as well. How are we going for food? Food's all good. And... I do need more growth, but it's growing just fine as it is. We don't need extra sanitation at the moment. Uh, we, yeah, I'd say I'd say Genoa is fine. Let's destroy that. And not yet, but maybe eventually build a fountain there. Okay, now Genoa. We should think about growing these up. Very cheap buildings here. Um, yeah, Segusio is more on the frontier. Okay, we got one thousand left. So that should increase the income of that region by quite a bit. We're not going to find any more places to spend money. Not for that much. Good, income's improving here. How are we going with the religion? Because that's still a problem, but I think. It's only a slight 74% pagan now. Very nice. What else is going on? Difficulty levels? Yeah, it's all just stuff that I can't really control. There's plenty of food here. I know I need to advance that. That'll only provide an extra three public order. That's cost 8,000. That's right, we need to wait for it to grow. I forgot. Okay, we can build something here. We, we clearly need um, another fountain. Let's get that going. But that should help it out significantly. Because these things here, they don't they don't take up um, squalor, do they? No. That's good. Okay, I think everything's under control. Let me just check where we're with everyone. Yep. How's everything else going? That's all looking fine. How are you going for influence? Your influ influence has actually been going down lately. It's because, because you suck as a as a leader. Because you've got this. Un no, that's actually gone down even further now. In personal influence minus two per turn. Why the hell did that go down even further? And what happened to my resolution from that that flutter thing? Because I won. Never got any money out of that. It's so stupid. Fucking thing. This game's shit. All right. Um, yes. We need him to win a battle, I guess. I don't know. Or just die. Because everyone's going to have loyalty problems just due to, due to being more influential than him. Now he'll get his chance. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Hang up, what's this? How can I serve Priest? Yeah, whatever. None of your stats uh, particularly matter. What, wait, what's this? So he's... He's inbred now. He didn't start off that way. He became more inbred as things went by. He, he, I think he just started off as being stupid. It's fucking annoying. It's not a huge threat from the Allens. And they're offering more and more money. I'd like to accept it, but this is total war, bitch. 
Another stack of Saxons. For fuck's sake. There's a time when... They must have nothing defending their territory. Yeah, they're going to Rotomagus. We have to go and do something about that. Looks like they're gonna try and try their luck. I... All these people want peace. Go home. That's all I can say. If you want peace, go home. Don't come bother me. Looks like they're all going to Hadramentum. My people wish to offer you this. Fuck off. Noble Bertha. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Our income went down. Don't know why that is. Probably because um, winter provides extra wealth from uh, industry. Food shortage resolved. Uh, where is that? Africa. Let's have a look. So something got repaired. So I was right. That was being repaired and now they're working on something else. I guess, yeah. So that's good. That was like 400 talents worth of repairs done in a single single turn that's still not at all repaired um, that's okay that's made a big difference to the public order as well provincial instability keeps going down banditry's disappeared there's still a lot of immigration and um, yeah, at least we don't have that food shortage anymore he's at full strength Okay, I think I'll take a break, but on the next episode, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go up against that with this navy. I don't know, because otherwise they're going to Rotomagus, and we need to deal with this as well. You're going to have to attack them. That's fortified position there, so that, that actually could work out quite well. It'd be better if we had some, uh, what's it called, some crossbows, but... Oh, well, we'll just do what we can. I, th I think we'll have to fight that. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 50, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.